Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. Right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now. On to the video. The featured bots in this video is the 1987 Generation 1 Throttle Bots, consisting of Gold Bug, Roll Bar, Wide Load, Freeway, Chase, and Searchlight. Now, the Throttle Bots hitting the toy shelves in 1987 guaranteed that they appeared in at least the last few episodes of the G1 animated series. Goldbug appeared in the final episodes of Season 3, The Return of Optimus Prime, where it was shown that he is a rebuilt Bumblebee, and then the rest of the gang showed up in the very first episode of Season 4, The Rebirth. And that's pretty much it. They played more of a role in Marvel Comics, first appearing in issue number 30, well, most of the Throttlebots, Goldbug appeared in issue number two of the Transformers vs. G.I. Joe, where it was shown in issue one, the Joes destroyed Bumblebee, issue two, rebuilding as Goldbug. And then him, along with the rest of the Throttlebots, showed up in issue 30. And then from issue 30 to 37, the Throttlebots had some wild adventures, even having their brain modules taken out and put in, put in RC cars. And then later on, they met their end in issue number 50 at the hands of Starscream after they got brand new bodies. So that's pretty much it for the history of the Throttlebots. Now let's take a look at these wacky Generation 1 toys. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Uh, get Goldbug off the floor now. <laughs> Now we'll start things off by taking a look at the Throttlebots and their vehicle modes. And from left to right, we have Goldbug, the Volkswagen Beetle. We've got Freeway, the Corvette. Searchlight, the Ford RS200 rally car. Then we have Chase, the Ferrari. Wide Load, the dump truck. And Roll Bar, the Jeep CJ7. Now the whole gimmick with the Throttlebots, let me move these guys to the back and we'll use Goldbug for an example, is they have the pull and go gimmick. Meaning you pull the vehicle back, let it go, and it takes off. So pull and go. Man, he spun out right there, that was pretty cool. And I'm lucky enough to where all of my Throttlebots still work, so quite pleased with that. So let's go ahead and start off. Man, they're taking off on their own now. Stop! <laughs> ah, love it. Anyway, we'll start things off with Goldbug. And something I want to point out first and foremost, all of these Throttlebots have been enhanced with Toy Hacks upgrade decals. So these decals are not going to be on, say, a Throttlebot you get off of eBay. I wanted to enhance these guys, and man, Toy Hacks really improved their look. So starting off with Goldbug here, the Volkswagen Beetle. He looks really good. I love the vehicle modes for these guys, and the Toy Hex decals help so much with the new windows, license plate, the fenders, headlights, Autobot insignia. Just looks really, really good. So that's pretty much it for vehicle mode. You saw the gimmick. Now let's get into transformation. Super simple. You're gonna flip up the sides, like so. Bring this whole undercarriage down and press that in and then flip the back section 
And there you go. There you have Goldbug in his robot mode. And yeah, that's it. Goldbug was the only one I had as a kid. And I remember after getting him, I was so disappointed. I mean, their robot modes are just so lacking. There's no articulation whatsoever. It's all using your imagination. I mean, you see little fingers right there, maybe for the arms. Uh, there's nothing. Hit and just no articulation. I mean, the gimmick works the same in robot mode. You just pull him back, let him go, bumblebee, and he hit the floor. These guys have a mind of their own. So that's about it. You got the pull and go gimmick in robot mode and vehicle mode. So that's Goldbug. Now, I guess they're out of order. We'll go ahead and take a look at Wide Load, the big dump truck. Lots of great new Toy Hex decals on him that really make him pop. I can't remember. These were put on a long time ago. And I remember, I think these guys were really playing. They just didn't have much at all. He's got headlights, bumper with the hazard stripes, hazard stripes on the back. They all got the rub set symbols. They still work. Yeah can't really get them to go but you guys know what the rub symbols are by now so yeah there's wide load in his dump truck mode lots of nice detail transformation exactly the same you're gonna flip up the sides drop down the undercarriage squeeze it in fold down the back and there we go now wide load is his robot mode is really plain looking I mean gold bug at least had I mean, for what he is, has some decent paint applications on him as far as the head sculpt. Well, I guess it's still the same way. It's two-tone, but Goldbug just looks better. Wide load, just a very plain-looking bot. He needed more decals in his robot mode. I hate how the face is all red. Just kind of blends in with the orange on the rest of the figure. There's these little dinky arms with the fingers hanging off. And yeah, he, he's a chunky boy. So there is a wide load. Next up, who is this? Freeway. Freeway looks really good with his new decals. It really enhance his sports car look. They start here at the hood and go all the way back. New tail lights, new license plate, new front end with an Autobot license plate right there. And that's pretty much it. I believe he's the only one that doesn't get new windows. All the rest of them got new window decals. He did not. Transformation, exactly the same. Flip up the sides, undercarriage down, squeeze that together, flip back the rear end, and there you have him in robot mode. I do like his head sculpt. It looks like there's two different types of paint applications. I'm looking over the camera as well, and I believe so. You got a yellow visor and a gold face. So that looks really good. And there's these little fingers on these dinky arms, and that's it so now we've got searchlight he's easy to remember because of all the lights on the front of him and thanks to toy hacks they look even better than before they even gave you some extra lights here on the bottom lots of nice blue stripes autobot insignia right there a little black on top brand new window decals and lots of decals there on the back his rub symbol is on the rear of the vehicle transformation guess what exactly the same Flip up the sides, undercarriage down, squeeze in, fold back, and there we have Searchlight in his robot mode. He looks pretty good. I like his head sculpt. Got yellow and blue right there. Got the little fingers. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Moving on, we have Chase, the Ferrari. Love this vehicle mode. Got the little Ferrari insignia right there. New lights, Autobot insignia. New window decals, vent decals right there. A new back sticker that is coming loose. We'll have to fix that. Like I said, these were applied a long time ago. Transformation, flip, bring down, squeeze, flip. And there you go. Love his head sculpt too. Got that nice gold face with a, I swear it's another collar visor. It may just be the way it's sculpted. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I dig that. The golds just work really well for him. Now moving on to my absolute favorite Throttlebot, Rollbar. And the reason he's my favorite, I'm a Jeep guy. 
I've owned a couple different Jeeps. I'm currently driving a Jeep right now. And I just, I love a Wrangler. This guy's a Wrangler and he looks so cool. And Toy Hacks really improved his look with the decals that gave him a soft top. New windows on the back. He gets that new spare tire cover and headlights. And he just looks so good. I just love this little vehicle. Actually, my very first Jeep I named after this guy right here. It was called Roll Bar, had a Roll Bar license plate. It was awesome. Transformation, flip, bring down, squeeze, flip. And there we go. Roll Bar is kind of a, I swear he looks, come on, focus in. He looks like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I did, I never really noticed that until looking through the camera uh, really up close at him, but it looks like he's got the Hulk Hogan mustache. Wish he had some more paint applications for the eyes, but it's G1. Little fingers down there. And that's pretty much it. So there you go, guys. There is the throttle box in their robot modes, all lined up and ready for whatever adventures await them. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here's the 1987 Generation 1 throttle box with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Bumblebee, and Netflix Bumblebee. The 1987 Generation 1 Throttlebots are definitely a product of their time. They showed up in the latter years of the Transformers series when the line was just laden with gimmicks. And that's their only function. They are built around a gimmick, the pull and go action which actually is pretty fun with these figures. Other than that, their robot modes suck. And I remember, as I said earlier, as a kid, I just didn't like these guys. But now as an older collector, I really appreciate them for what they are. And I think they're pretty cool. So there you go, guys. The 1987 Generation 1 Throttlebots. So... Do the 1987 Generation 1 Throttlebots belong in your collection? Well, mainly if you're a G1 completionist, because they're really not great toys. I mean, they got the cool pullback feature, but as far as their robot modes are concerned, they're pretty lame with hardly any playability whatsoever and zero posability. But that being said, they still are pretty quirky and cool, and they are G1. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoorah!